a couple of years back, I made a video on the ultimate loadout for the Hunter Call of the Wild, and recently, a lot of you guys have been asking for an updated version of that type of video, and because the game has changed a good bit since the time that I made it, I thought it was officially time for a proper update. Now, before we get into the loadout itself, I think I should clarify the criteria here. Number one, we're looking for a loadout that's going to allow us to hunt every animal in the game. We can switch maps, not have to switch our weapons, and be good to go just by switching the map and basically heading out. The other criteria is I don't want to have to be switching stuff around in my inventory. What I mean by that is I want room for all my collars, binoculars, and stuff like that. So I'm basically limiting myself to four weapons, so the loadout can look something like this. We've got all of our guns, our collars, binoculars, and stuff equipped, and we're not gonna have to be switching stuff around. I feel like that kind of goes against the grain of the video. But with that out of the way, let's get into the loadout. And I think we're gonna start with the maybe least obvious one. And that is the 12 gauge Cacciatore shotgun. And if you're wondering why I've added that into this loadout, is specifically for things like quail, pheasants, fleeing rabbits, maybe close range turkeys or close range ducks, just anything in that class one range, but specifically the pheasants and the quail, because it is a requirement to get the score on them to make an air shot. You cannot shoot them off the ground like you could with a duck and just use the 22. So if you want to be able to hunt every animal in the game without switching your loadout, you do need a shotgun. And what I found is the 12 gauge Cacciatore is one of the lightest weight. It actually is a base game weapon, so no DLC is required. And it also has a massive capacity of six rounds. So something like quail, when there's a bunch of them, it's gonna do a fantastic job. And before we get to the next weapon, I will also say the loadout video that I did in 2020 would work very well for 2022. The only difference being the shotgun is not there. So if you're maybe not as interested in pheasants or quail and maybe you want something bigger than the 7 mil, the next weapon for your big game, that video will be in the card in the top right. You can check that out and see what we're working with there. But of course the 7 mil is my next selection and the reason is rather obvious. If we go here into the inventory and look at the ammo, it covers classes 4 to 9. So basically everything from the size of a mouflon all the way up to a water buffalo it's ethical and capable of bringing down. In the case of a medium-sized game animal like a mule deer, it has absolutely no problem dropping them in their tracks even at range, and even for the bigger game, all you need is that single lung shot, and water buffalo, the biggest animal in Hunter Call of the Wild, the 7 mil can easily get a lung as well, and quite fortunate I will say to find an albino there, it may require a longer track when you get that single lung, but there's no quick kill anymore, there's no requirement to bring the animal down quickly. All you gotta do is get that long shot with an ethical caliber, and I would also say it's very reliable getting that single lung. I have shot Diamond Cape Buffalo with the 7 mil at over 400 meters. That's about as far a shot as you can get, and it's still reaching the lung on those massive animals. And one last point on the 7 mil, if you can line the shot up properly, you can hard shot things like water buffalo and drop them in their tracks, and obviously that eliminates the need to track them, and it really makes the 7 mil a fantastic option, super versatile and very capable even on the largest game. If you're like me and you hunt a lot of big game, the 7 mil is going to be the weapon you use the most in this loadout, but what it cannot do is cover some of those smaller animal classes, and that's what the 243 is for. Once again, like the 7 mil and the Cacciatore 12 gauge, it is a base game weapon, no need to buy a DLC, and it is fantastic on those class 2 and class 3 animals, more than capable on any fox or coyote, anything like that, and even up to the class 3 axis deer. Axis deer, I believe, are the heaviest class 3 animal, it can drop them in their tracks with a hard shot, and of course double lung, single lung, it's going to do just as well. And again, the fact that you don't have to purchase a DLC, you literally have it from the start, it's a really good gun to carry, and I think it is very underrated. I wanted to throw it on here just to make the point that it's a weapon you should be carrying. Even though you upgrade and, and you get better weapons as you progress through the game, it's always one of the best in terms of those class 2, class 3 animals. Now, I think it is a good time to mention that with just those three weapons, you can cover every animal class in the game. Obviously, the 12 gauge birdshot covers class 1, the 243 goes from classes 2 to 6, but really you only need it for classes 2 to 3 in this loadout, and the 7 mil covers everything else, but quite often in Call of the Wild, 
12 gauge birdshot is just simply not going to give you the range that you need. That is where the one non-base game weapon in this loadout comes in, the 22 LR, and I think I should also say it is not the Mississippi Acres 22H, that is a different weapon. Uh, this comes from the Weapon Pack 1 DLC, and you may be wondering, the 22H covers classes 1 and 2, why not bring the 22H? And there's a very simple reason for that. If we scroll down through all of the different weapons here, the 22H takes up 4 units of space in your inventory. If we go and find the 22LR, it's only 2.5, and when we go into our storage here, basically we're carrying 19.96 units out of a possible 20. Now, we don't have the pack mule, we're not wearing a backpack or anything like that. If you do that, you could cover uh, different different things, you could use the different loadout, but I'm trying to do no perks, no backpack, and just be able to carry everything you need. And quickly, we'll kind of go through and see I'm not carrying any tents or anything like that. I've just got my normal binoculars. First aid kits, I think, are a necessity. You could switch that out for doggy biscuits if you want to uh, give those to your dog. Then I have all the collars for Layton. I've got my one necessary scope, which is another nice thing about this loadout. It only takes the one scope. And then I tend to do this. I've got a bunch of different ammo for weapons that I often carry. You don't need to, obviously, but it just kind of saves time when I do switch loadouts. And those of you that watch the videos often know that I like to do that. So, again, not a necessary component. You may be able to stick one more thing in the loadout without all that ammo, but for what I'm doing and the fact that I didn't need to do that, I just think that speaks to how versatile of a loadout this is. But those are the four weapons. And again, to go back to the 22 LR real quick, it is the weapon that offers range on some of those small game class one animals. It's fantastic for turkeys. Often you can call them in, obviously, if you want, but you can take them at range and not to worry. And the big thing is when something like a duck flees at a distance, you can maybe shoot one off the water and then get another one as it's flying away. That 10 round capacity, the quick follow up shots, it is the best class one weapon in the game. I will maintain that despite the fact that there are things like the shotgun and bird shot. When it comes to range, versatility, follow up shots, the 22 LR is the best you can get. And again, one DLC to complete this loadout, I don't think it's bad. The 22 LR offers so much potential to get diamonds in those things like ducks on the water, turkeys at a distance, rabbits. I would definitely recommend picking that one up. And on that note, that is pretty well going to do it for this loadout and for this video. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this loadout helps you guys in your hunts, and I will see you next time.